My name is Trevor Davis. I'm going to be doing magic, like I said. And for my first trick, uh, I'm going to take you guys through a trip of what kind of school is like for me. All right, so uh, we're going to take a flashback back to last year. I took chemistry, Mr. Johnson. And in chemistry, I learned that in water, there's two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. Now, pretty sure that's all in the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an invisible cup right here. And this cup has pre-prepared hydrogen and oxygen in it, which should make water as it passes through this funnel. Uh, this funnel, you know, I think you all know how, to fu how a funnel works. Now, if I take this cup and I take it and I pour it, you see that wrong invisible cup, this one. I need this invisible cup. This has the hydrogen and the oxygen. So if I take this and I pour it, you should see that actual water comes out. And you can see, for any skeptical people, I can stick this through this end and that through the other end. No hidden tricks or secrets. All right, now uh, I'm going to call up a volunteer, uh, Maddie, if you're in the audience somewhere, and come on up. Go ahead and stand on the floor. No reason, not on the wires. Just stand right there and face the audience. All right, and I'm gonna come on down to you. Let's get a little closer forward. Yeah, there you go. Look at the audience. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. No, no, you. No, I stand. You, you stand forward. You look. So I have this cup. You've all been seeing me hold it now on the count of. See, nothing comes out. Okay, so you can just look down. You can take that chair. So you saw the water appear out of the bottom of the funnel, and now it's disappeared from the cup, and I can prove to you that it has truly disappeared because I have a skewer here, and I can poke it straight through the top of the cup. I can poke it even lower, and continually lower, and even the lower after that, and then the final one, straight through the bottom. I can stick this up and pull it out, and nothing goes out. The water is gone. All right, for my next trick, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, homework. Everybody loves homework. Uh, so, Different teachers give different amount of homeworks. Some teachers give a lot of homework. Some teachers give a good amount of homework. And some teachers give a lot less than the other teachers. So, what I thought would be a good idea is if I tried to uh, make it so I had the same amount of homework in every class. So what I did it is I took some of the homework from my biggest class, and I did that, and I took some from my from the medium class, and I took that out, and then I took some from my smallest class, and I even change that amount of homework and so then I'll even at the end so all of them are straight and then when I was done with my uh, experiment whatever I was trying to do I had realized that I had exactly the same amount of homework in every class they're all the same length. And it was afterwards when I was trying to turn in less homework than some teachers assigned and more homework than other teachers assigned that I realized that this wasn't a good idea. So what I decided to do is I took the homework, theoretically, and I folded it down and then I give it a little shake and you realize that I still have some teachers that give lots of homework, some teachers that give a little bit of homework, and some teachers that give even less. All right, for my next trick, I'd like to call up Riley, wherever Riley is. She really, okay, I see it. Um. All right, so you have your phone. Okay, can you open up to the calculator app on your phone? Now, as you can see, I'll clear this stuff out of the way. I have a tissue here, and this tissue is hiding my secret prediction for the end of this trick, okay? Now, I can, can I see this? This is a real calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and check. Let's see. 
appears to be a correct calculator. Your phone is not broken. Um, all right, yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, so as you can see, it's still set to zero. Okay, I haven't messed with anything. So I need you to give me a three digit number. Seven, two, five. And we're gonna click times. Give me another three digit number. Nine, seven, eight. All right, and the last one. Okay, and then I'm going to click the equals button, and as you can see, I have an output of the number of uh, 577,345,663, I think. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to write this down. That's the magic, math. math, is magic. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write this number down. Five, and you can watch me make sure I'm writing down the right number. Okay, seven, seven. Three, four, five, six, six, and three. Okay, so these two numbers are the same, right? Looks legit. There you go. That's the numbers. Now, I told you that I predicted the ending of the trip, which means I predicted this number. Okay, so I'm going to set this down, and I'm going to show you what I have underneath the tissue. I have... An egg. This is my prediction. Not the trick yet. Now, this isn't the important part of the egg, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack the egg. Get rid of that. And I'll put this, the empty shells, on the napkin. And then I'll get rid of the yolk, put that over here. Okay, now this is my prediction. This is my final prediction. Two eggshells. You wanna know why this was my prediction? Because if you take this number and flip it upside down, it spells what? Eggshells. <laughs> All right, and for my last trick, I'm going to call up Amanda and David from the audience. I'm going to pull out a deck of cards. David. Oh, there you are. There you are. I can't see anything because of the lights. Yeah. All right. So, uh, while they're walking up here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give the cards a little shuffle real quick. All right. Now, I'm going to riffle down the side and I'm going to have you say stop. All right? Stop. Right there. You sure you want that card? Okay. So, I'm going to take that and you look at it. Okay. Show the audience. It's not really important as long as you remember, you know what it is. Okay. Set it down, don't let me see it. Okay, David, I'm gonna do the same for you. Say stop. Stop. Right there, you want that card, exactly. You wanna keep going? No, that card. No, that card? Alright, so I'm gonna take that, give that to you. You look at that, show the audience. Alright, set, set it down against your chest. Okay, now I'm gonna ruffle through the cards, and I'm gonna have you stick the card in whenever you want. Uh, I'll start with you, okay? So I'm gonna ruffle through, you push it in. Alright, stick it in, and you, David. Right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it down. You know, I'm not holding on to it anywhere special. I don't know where your cards are. But if I give the cards a quick throw, you see that all the other cards landed over here. And I have two cards left in my hand. And these two cards would be your cards, the six and the nine. What? All right, well, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Uh...